au au hoi anō rahi paka kōrero nā kui tēnei kia tātai. Kia mō hio nō nā whea e nei kōrero i tuku ake ai. I'd like to share with you now a little story so that you understand why and how I do what I do. I was what they call a whāngai. And a whāngai is a child who is gifted to the elders to be raised. I was born in a little place called Waimomu underneath a big old tree actually and as I grew up and as I learned from the old people they started teaching me the language of the clouds the stars the moon the sun they taught me the language of the trees the birds the sea the rivers the springs the ponds and that was the unspoken language of the old world we call it the ancient language, the language of the elders. Why? Because the mountains, there are our elders, the rivers, the lakes, the trees, the birds, and everything in between. And then once I had learnt the language of the earth, learnt the language of the children of Rangi and Papa, Sky Father and Earth Mother, they taught me an ancient language called Kitahi. Kitahi means to speak one word per day. And that one word conveyed an entire, entire narrative. Hence the one spoken word. After I had learned how to speak the old language of Kitahi, they taught me how to speak my language. I was raised to learn the old language I lived with my elders from the day I was born right up to the day they passed. Before they passed, I would have been about nine or so and my grandmother woke up one morning and told me to prepare the horse. And I wasn't sure why I had to. Why? Because we never rode this horse. It just used to hang around our place. <laughs> and um, then my grandmother came out with some baskets. She told me to carry the baskets. And then we started to walk. And of course, our faithful horse followed us. And we walked, and we walked, we walked for a couple of days. We slept along the river. Me, my grandmother, and our horse. And then we arrived in a township. We arrived in the township. And I asked my grandmother, te taki kei koneita? Why are we here? And her response was, Kia rongo koe ki te ngutu pārera. So that you can listen to how these people talk. And then the following morning, she took me to school. I wasn't quite sure what school was. It was a small room full of about 15 children, my grandmother and the teacher. In those days, students sat in peers and the person who sat next to me was my grandmother. Unfortunately, none of us could speak English. And as I sat there listening to the sounds and I listened to the chattering of the kids, I couldn't figure out what they were on about to save myself. But then the teacher came in. Well, I didn't know if he was the teacher or... Yeah, I think he was the teacher. The teacher came in and started to speak. And my grandmother turned around and she looked at me and she smiled. And she says, e tama. Listen to the backwards duck. In our language, we have a duck that they refer to as a backwards duck because he makes a chattering sound. And as we sat there, we giggled, we laughed. We thought it was hilarious, actually, because 
neither her or myself could understand a single word. After that, following that day, we slept down back at the river and we went back to go and listen to the backwards duck the following day. After a week of listening to the backwards duck, we were still confused. But my grandmother endured and she carried on going. And we slept down at the river again. Another week passed. My grandmother still made fun of the backwards duck and all of its little offspring. We call them um, kau kau. So the backwards duck had a whole family of kau kau, a whole family of backward ducklings. Mm. <laughs> and um, we were in a kura. And a kura is an old word for uh, a family of backward ducks. And I remember when we left, the moon had died. We call that night fiddle. When the moon passes, we call the moon te maramai whanaki, the waning and the waxing of the moon. As time went by, the moon started to rise, and when it reached full, when the moon was full, my grandmother said to me, Kani te nae tamako tihoki ano te pare rangu tu ko fete fete. That's all, boy, my boy. That's all we need to do. We have been here for one month and listened to the family of backward ducks. Now you know how backwards they really are. They have nothing to teach you. They have nothing to show you. They have nothing to offer you. But remember their language. Remember the sound of the backwards duck. And consequently, with that, we returned home with our horse trusting, um, following closely behind us. I asked my grandmother, why can't we ride the horse? My grandmother said, animals are not made to be ridden. Animals are made to be animals. Her language was, And when I think about back with some of the words that she expressed to me, I understand now why the backward duck people imprison animals, enslave animals, ride animals, and treat them as if they are master above high. It never really occurred to me that people actually rode horses. It never really occurred to me that people enslaved animals. Not until we left the township and we met other backward ducks walking down the road who were riding the horses. That's why I asked my grandmother, why don't we ride the horse? And her words were, animals are made to be free, just like you and me. They're made to come and go at their leisure when they please. And she said one funny thing to me, ko te ao tū re hu, he ao taru waitu. Ko te ao taru waitu, he ao taru taru kino. Ko te ao taru kino, he ao taru waitua. Which means that the world of the backward stuck is a poisonous world, a dangerous world, an unforgiving world. But the world of our ancestors is the world of light. Ko tō tātou ao, ko te ao marama but you and I come from the world of light. So wai ho rato kia rato. So let them be to themselves. Wai ho mato kia mato. And we will remain true. And I sort of think back now about some of those words and those conversations and those dialogues that I had with that old lady. And she had an insight back then that she already knew that this type of education, this type of learning, the things that we were doing were first and foremost bad for an individual, bad for a community, bad for society, 
bad for you and I in general. And her advice to me was, Wai ho ratau kia ratau. Let them be backwards ducks. I was trying not to laugh, I was trying to be serious, you know. <laughs> you can't hide it. No. <laughs> yeah. So that's what she said. I'm trying to be serious here. <laughs> okay? <laughs>